the world forget. So I, I have a lot of thoughts, um, and the first one that I actually want to discuss is that Sumeru looks absolutely stunning, right? And especially the city and the forest section, it's really vivid and green and bright colored. Um, you know, it's like very earthy because that's the Denjo element. Uh, so it's really colorful and vibrant um, and saturated. Which I love. Aesthetically, it's it looks really, really beautiful, and I'm super excited about it. However, just based off this trailer, specifically this one, and the entire dialogue that happens between some of the characters, um, especially with what sounds like the villains, potentially, of this story, it's it's giving really, really dark vibes. And it's it's like quite the contrast to the vibrant lively colors of Sumeru, but this story, something about the way it was laid out in this trailer, it feels 20 times darker than I feel like anything we've experienced in Genshin so far. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that there's this um, overlying theme of the mirages and the dreams, kind of this like mind control, knowledge control happening within Sumeru. Um, it just feels really, really dark. Our Archon created the utopia. Like, the word the word utopia, the fact that he's using the word utopia, that's not a good sign. Like, that's not a good sign. Because that means that they're obsessed with the fact that they think that their nation is perfect, and it's a utopia, and they have to keep it perfect like this. But yeah, I, the, the word utopia is it's a little concerning. For all scholars, while people like you wish to defile it. So even more control, because like, you know, the vision hunt decree, it was, it was really just this notion of taking away the visions because visions represented ambition. Uh, so it's a little bit similar to this, but like times two, it, it feels like they're really trying to control like every aspect of this nation to continue this utopia and it sounds like what they mean by people like you outsiders potentially potentially um people who are digging into the story and the lore of the archon and like what's going on with the archon um, potentially the traveler comes into sumeru and they're trying to find lesser lord kusanali and people are like why are you looking for that person like we don't even want to celebrate the birthday anymore because we're accepting the death of our previous Archon. <laughs> and this laugh, this laugh is so creepy. But yeah, so the, the main festival, I suppose, that they were trying to celebrate um, the birthday of Kusanali uh, was cancelled. And then this, are you really so ignorant or are you just living in complete denial? It's like, potentially a villain is saying that to us as the player and the traveler, but so far from what we know, it kind of seems like it's quite the opposite. The people of Sumeru, potentially, are ignorant and in denial of the actual truths that can be seen, um, or that are being hidden from them. And then tying back to the archipelago, um, it seems like, you know, they're trying to tie in a little bit of, uh, we spoke to the mysterious person, um, from Sumeru. And then this whole thing with the mirages, it's almost like they're kind of giving us a hint, potentially, that mirages could continue to be a thing in Sumeru. Yeah, so the fact that the whole area was disappearing could potentially mean that it was a mirage in the first place. Like, we... We see the Sumeru city kind of disintegrating. Yeah, so here. So, like, you saw that, right? Like, it's just kind of disappearing. So, was it real to begin with? So, I feel like we have to go into Sumeru, like, super weary of everything and everybody that we talk to because I feel like I wouldn't know what to believe and what is truth and what is not. Um, because we're just gonna go into Sumeru, like, dive in there, and take everything for fact. 
But I feel like we need to consider the fact that we just learned about these mirages and we're seeing these this recurring theme in the trailer and then Kusanali disappearing for like a short moment in the trailer as well. Yeah, definitely a lot more than meets the eye. Um, and I'm super excited about it. I don't know, it's like, I like that it's super dark. Uh, at least it feels that way. I'm really excited about it, so. Oh, this is so pretty! Yeah, so like, even that statement, aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities? In this land of knowledge and reason. So it's like, holding a festival to celebrate a birthday is frivolous. So they, they look at these sort of, like, non-academial, I don't even know if that's a word, <laughs> non-academial activities as being not worthy um, and unimportant. Directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Access any knowledge that you need. You know, it's like, it's too good to be true, right? You can, the Akasha Terminal gives you access to whatever knowledge you might need. If, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, right? So, I really don't like this Akasha Terminal garbage. I really don't like this. Here we go. The God of Wisdom's enemy is wisdom. The God of Wisdom's enemy is wisdom itself. Uh, I, what? The God of Wisdom's enemy is wisdom itself. The God of Wisdom does not want the people to have wisdom. This this dendropod shit giving you knowledge is a whole load of BS. It has to be. The oasis of knowledge is a mirage in the desert of ignorance. I, I just got chills, like, listening to that. Like, at the time when we watched these videos, it w none of this really made sense. Because it was just a bunch of big words tied to these acts and nations that we didn't really know much about. But as we've, like, uncovered pieces of the puzzle, like, all of this is starting to, starting to come together. Especially now that we've gotten at least three trailers, right? Three or four uh, Sumeru trailers with, like, little hints and bits of, uh, of lore. <laughs> like, literally... In the city of scholars. Literally using the word mirage. That's just, like... Phew, mind-boggling. It's insane to come back to this and see how perfectly it fits with everything that we've just talked about literally five minutes ago. Okay, yeah, that was great. That was a lot of fun to talk about.